Hey everyone, it's your Sally Coach, and today we will be doing our fifth lesson on Code Busters, the Nihilist Substitution Cipher. Now, this cipher is also called the Nihilist Cipher, if I ever mention it like that instead. And in this video, we will be going over the key terminology and steps that it takes to solve a Nihilist Cipher. So, let's get started. A few things I want to state before going over the cipher. I want to show that it is approximately 250 points, and that you should be spending around 6 to 7 minutes maximum on a cipher like this. At the start, it will take time, but as time goes on, we should be able to cut this time down to about six to seven minute time periods. Now, looking at the vocabulary, let's first take a look at the question. In the question, we can see that they give us a keyword and also a Polybius keyword. This keyword will be used for going above the cipher text, which is shown as the rows of numbers, and the Polybius keyword will be going in the square in the bottom right. This square is known as the Polybius square, where you will read and transcript numbers when solving the cipher. This square is read from left, then top, to get your numbers. Looking deeper into the Polybius square, it is an alphanumeric table where each two-digit number goes to a certain letter. Now we will put our Polybius keyword into the square from the top left as if we are reading a book. Once the keyword is in the square, you can see how some of the letters in microbiology are not shown. This is because once we already have used a letter, we will not use it again and we skip ahead to the next letter. Another thing that you should keep in mind is that I is also known as J. These are both in the same box since there are 26 letters and 25 boxes in total. So whenever you write down I, you will also be writing J in the same exact box. Now that the keyword is done, we will now go to filling in the rest of the square based on the alphabet. We will start with A, then skip B and C, following the same rule as we used for the previous keyword, and then continue to D and the rest of the alphabet. This is how you would fill in the previous square based on the previous keyword, and in the end, we will read it from left to top, as in A is 24 and D is 25. Once we have our previous square finished, we will look at our keyword and match it to the letters that we have from the square. Since our keyword is germs, we will find each letter that the two-digit number codes to, so we are going to have G as 23, E as 32, R as 14, M as 11, and lastly, S as 44. We will usually write this to the side of the cipher and have each two-digit number next to each letter. Finishing up the cipher, we will take our cipher text and put our keyword under it. When we do this, we will continue the pattern for however many letters the keyword is. Our keyword is five letters, so we will restart our keyword every five letters, as in germs, germs, germ, over and over again. Now that way, we have each number in our keyword related to each number in our ciphertext, and then we will subtract the keyword from our ciphertext to give us a number within our table. If the number ends in any number that is 0, 6, 7, 8, or 9, or contains any of those numbers, then a mistake has been made and this is not a letter. Now after we have each number as our differences, we will now match it up to our previous table and find each letter. We have 15, so it will be O, we have 41, so it will be N, and so on for the rest of the letters. Now this is the end of the Nihilist Substitution Cipher video, and in the next video we will be doing practice problem for this cipher, going each and every step in specific to solve this cipher. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you!